to America in the hopes of finding a woman. I found that woman and we had a daughter. The other night my daughter went out. She went on a date with a boy. He kissed her, God damn. He kissed her on the lips. Well, hmm. what is it you've come to ask of me? I want him to be a kissed back. I'm sorry, come again? I want him to be a kiss to bake on the mouth like he did to my daughter. And who would you like to do this kissing? Mauri Povich. You are a strange man. Please go away. Oh, oh, oh. I have uh, other enemies, Godatham. I want them to be eaten by monsters. Uh, what do you make of this adopted lawyer, son? I can only advise you legally, God Thumb. Monsters are loud and tricky to clean up after. Thummy? I'm your son. I'm a hothead. All I'm saying is, whatever we do, we should do it quickly, in a rage, without thinking. Preferably at night, you know, when you're in that weird state between sleeping and waking. That's when we strike! Afredo? I don't talk much in this movie. Very well. I will honor your request, as this is the day of my daughter's wedding. <sighs> Grazie, good thumb. You know any monsters? It's a great day for a white wedding. Thank you, Joey. Rabbit teeth, Carboni. You would look lovely conceding. Thank you, Rico. Three eyes, Parisi. Oh, oh my beautiful conceded. And her new husband. I am an old, poor woman with nothing to give you but my blessing and my mustache. Take it. <laughs> Thank you, I think. Uh, God thumb. I'm honored and uh, grateful for your invitation to win it. No, no that, I gotta do it. Oh, oh, wait, wait, wait. God thumb. I am honored and gravy filled at your invitation. Uh, no, no, no. Oh, oh, wait, 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 wait. <clears throat> Good thumb. I'm a horny grapefruit. Uh, no. Good thumb. Nikki, this is quite a wedding. What does your father do? Ah, uh, my father. Oh, oh, my father is a, a businessman. Yeah, only instead of a briefcase, he carries a sack of death. Hey, Mickey, you're so fine. Oh, adopted lawyer son? This is my girlfriend, B. B, this is my adopted brother, adopted lawyer son. Say hi. Very pleased to meet you. <laughs> and what do you do for a living? Oh! <laughs> That's right, Johnny Paisano, folks! In the flesh, baby! Whoa, fold my ankle! <laughs> Hey, everybody. 
I just flew in from Miami, and boy, is my airplane tired. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> Line up the laughs. Johnny's here. Mickey, you never told me you knew Johnny Pisano. Like to sing a little song for you. <laughs> no, please, please. Little song I like to sing whenever I see a beautiful girl. <laughs> oh, my God. You know it, huh? It's called Whenever I See a Beautiful Girl. Maestro. Whenever I see a beautiful girl, I see a girl. This one movie, Gantham. One movie. This one part. And I'm back on top, I tell you. Like the old days, I'm riding high. But this producer, Warts, he won't give it a part. And what is the name of this movie? Electro Robo Boogie 2. Oh, God, Tom, I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do. You can act like a thumb. No, no, not, not the hair. Ah! Oh, nobody look. No, don't look at my head. Uh, I want to be an electro robot boogie, too. I want to build dancing robots. Oh, I got my wig knocked off. Yeah, pull yourself together, man! It's all right. You go. I will have this producer talk to. You will get your part in Electro Robo Boogie. <laughs> Whenever I see a beautiful girl, I'm really bummed. I see a girl. It's what's on the inside that counts. Do you see all this? All of it paid for with Electro Robo Boogie One money. All from a robot. Very impressive. No, not just a robot. An electro robo boogie bot. <laughs> There's a difference, trust me. Oh, I'm sorry. I, I didn't mean to offend. No problem. Hey, you want to see something? Come here. Oh, I've loved animals since I was a boy. I built my own petting zoo. See that horse over there? That is my most prized possession. I love that horse. I don't know what I would do if something happened to that horse. Especially his head. That on his neck. I don't know what I would do if something happened to that horse's neck. No, oh, and by the way, Johnny Paisano never gets that part.
I don't want to go to school today. <laughs> hey, who snuck into my room while I was sleeping in the middle of the night and stuck this huge thing in my bed without even waking me up? What is it? <laughs> I don't care what you do, Johnny Paisano never gets that part. I still don't care. Johnny Paisano never gets that part. <laughs> I must be an amazingly sound sleeper. Okay, Johnny Paisano can have that part. Dimples! No! <laughs> I don't suppose peanuts will help this time. <laughs> that though, I need money for a venture. You, of course, will receive a share of the proceeds from my venture. What do you say? Uh... I understand why you come to me, Don Bazzazzini. But uh, if I am to invest in your venture, I must know what your venture is. I thought you'd never ask me. Hit it, boys! Hey, sure, everybody loves a meatball. But let me ask you something. Don't you hate it when you reach for your nice meatball with your fork and you miss and it is slipping the slide all over the place and then it falls on the floor? You just ruined a perfectly good meatball. But this wouldn't have happened if it was a meat cube. Got some malachu. I give you the original meat cube magician. Huh? There you have it. The meat cube. What do you think, Gotham? No. Oh, but Papa, this machine, she makes the meat cubes. It is not my business what a man does for a living. But this meat cube invention that you have created is the stupidest, dumbest, most lame idea in the history of stupid, dumb, lame ideas I have ever heard. Come on, Pop. I kind of like the original meat magician stool gods. At this moment, I am going to have to ask everyone to stop using the term original meat magician. I am beginning to grow angry when I hear it. So you're saying there's a chance? No. You like it a little? No. You're thinking maybe, uh, as a luncheon thing. Not dinner, certainly, but lunch maybe. No. Snack? Midnight snack like the little pizza rolls that you put in the oven? You cook them up and you got pizza middle of the night! It's been nice seeing you, Don Bazzazzini, but... Triangle. Balls. No. Pyramid. No. Rhombus. No. Trapezoid. No. Amorphous shapes. No. Long meat sticks. Uh, line segments. No. I'm sorry, what was the last one? Line segments. No. But, 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 but got them. My no is final. I wish you the best in your meat cube business, Don Bazzazzini. I don't think you really mean that. You are making a huge mistake here, Gotham. You ain't seen the last of me. Stop talking now. Well, got to fudge a king. I'm hungry. Someone bring me a kitten. Fuguts. We're all out of the kittens, Pop. Fine. Pull up my car. Send Lucky Brazier to check out Don Bazazzini and these meat cubes of his. You mean the ones that come from the original meat? Don't. Lucky Brazier! Good to see you. Why have you come? 
The God Thumb wants me to see the original meat magician. Really? I thought he wasn't interested. Uh, yes, he's interested. Uh, could you show me how it works? Sure. Oh, but first, place your hand on a counter. All right. You can stop the demonstration now. I'm, I'm no longer interested. Whoa! Strangling guys makes me hungry. Hey, Joey, whip up a batch of cubes, will ya? Alfredo, you wait here. I want to buy some kittens. Okay, Pop. Hey, uh, give me some of those. Hussada kata pitarada. Yeah, uh, the fluffy one there. Uh, him. Hmm? Nice day, huh? For some kitten shopping. Hussada kata pitarada. Why so many? Well, I got. I like kittens. Hussada kata pitarada. Yesterday's batch. Uh, they're there. They're at home, you know, sort of running around, you know, so to speak. Oh, Pop, did you hear the fireworks? You can see him now, but I should warn you. We were only able to save his head. What? Mickey, my son, you've come to see me. Pop. You look good, you lost weight. I'm only saying. They won't get away with this, Pop. I didn't want this for you. Thummy, he's a hothead. Afredo, he's an idiot and entirely expendable. But now you, Mickey. <sighs> Put me in a bowling bag and get me out of here. No, no, Pop, shh, 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 shh. You need your rest, okay? I'll take care of things now. We can't wait, all right? Look, we set up a meeting between me, Bazzarzini, and the crooked captain. All right, in, in like a, what do you call it, a kitty restaurant or a, or a seedy bathhouse, yeah? Now, I want you should put a weapon in the bathroom. Don't worry. I'll take it from there. Glad you could make it. Ha! I'm Barnegay Badger, and I'm gonna be your Badger Burger waiter for this evening. Okay, here are some menus. Okay, I'm gonna be right back to Badger for your order. Mickey, this bad blood between our families, it's gotta be stopped. Now, I need your financial backing for my meat cuba. But I'll get that. There's no telling what could happen. I, uh, I need to go to the bathroom. So, uh, see any good movies, I think? Hello? Where'd you plant it? Oh, come on. Oh, come on. Oh. <sighs> hey, this isn't toilet paper. Me? 
me I make a suggestion or three? Barna K. Badger loves the homespun badger loaf on the bun. It is plum tasty. And if the badger loaf ain't to your liking, why don't you try the ferret fry? That three large helpings of white meat smothered in yummy gravy and fried onions. Ah, I haven't ordered yet. Sorry, sir, but you gotta have exact change. Hey, hey, anybody, any of you guys got exact change, huh? Thank you. Ah, hey, ow, ah, ah, Neil Petrozini, Penny, Pasta, Faciule, Penny, Fusili, ah, in a corner. Look at me, adopted lawyer son. Look what they've done to me. I can't even applaud anymore. What am I going to do if I'm at a show and I see something I like? You could whistle. What are you, an idiot? I don't have any lungs. I don't even know how I'm talking to you right now, to be completely honest with you. What have I become? I'm a wig mannequin! Aye, a wig mannequin. Tis a terrible, terrible fate. Oh, by the by, they got Thummy at the toll booth. I want no more acts of vengeance. The killing must stop. I will invest in this meat cuba. All this for cubes of meat. I need fresh air. Put me in a shopping bag or a, like a large coffin can and take me outside. And you know, take me out of the can once I'm out there. It's really just more for the transportation. Point A to point B in the coffee can. And uh, if, you, if you put that plastic lid on, then punch some holes. Because, you know, like, like you would with a small hamster or gerbil. If you put him in the coffee can, you punch the holes, make sure he doesn't suffocate to death. Uh, same could happen to me. How about in a sugar scoop? Can you travel by sugar scoop? Hey, Pop. Mickey, look at you, Mickey. Here, remember this? This always made you laugh. Oh, hey, hey no, stop it, Pop, stop it! <laughs> hey, you're freaking me out here! Mickey, let me chase it through the tomato plants. Oh, I, I don't know, Pop. Come on, Mickey. Full time sick, huh? <laughs> I'm gonna get you! <laughs> Almost got you, Mickey! Ah. Hey, watch your toes! Watch your toes! <laughs> Oh! Looking, looking. Woo! All right, soccer ball. No, Alfredo. Oh. oh! No! I'm making the goal. I'm making the goal. Oh, pop! Oh, that's so wrong. Oh. Mickey, 
I want to ask you a question. Don't ask me about my business, B. No, Mickey, I just want to ask you a question. Don't ask me about my business, B. Okay, okay. Mickey, what's your business? I can answer that. Pop! Thummy! I thought you were dead! Yeah, he's just a head. There's still gods in that. No. I was only kicked into a bucket. And Thummy was severely stunned. You are in charge now, Mickey. You will lead the family. And our business will no longer be crime. What? Crime is not our business? Uh, what is our business, Pop? Justice! We will stand for what is good. And if any man shall stand in opposition of our goodness, we will shoot him down like a dog in the streets. Ha! <laughs> to justice, eh? Ha <laughs> ha Salute! Salute! Salute. <laughs> I cannot toast! That's <laughs> <laughs> good, Dad. <laughs> Does anybody have an orange for me? I could I could probably get some mileage off that orange peel gag right about now. <laughs> I'm sure there's no doubt you like me. Because I do like the ladies. And the ladies do like me. Now why don't you just pucker it up and lay it right on Johnny Bed? Hey, what are you doing here, Electro Robo Boogie Bot? Ha <laughs> ha! Boom, chicka boom, chicka boom, chicka boom. Electro Robo Boogie 2. Electro Robo Boogie 2. Electro Robo Boogie me. Electro Robo Boogie you. Hey, where you going, lady? Will he make it, doctor? Will he live? Will my Robo Boogie Bot live? <laughs> Robo Boogie Bot? Robo Boogie Bot? He does live! A boom, chicka boom, chicka boom, chicka boom. My Robo Boogie Bot lives! He lives, he's a Robo Boogie Bot! We are riding, riding down the road. Electro Robo Boogie riding down the road. Take it! We're riding, riding, riding down the road. Oh, we are down the road. Yeah, we are down that road. We're down the road. We're riding down the See you next movie, everybody. Oh.